Hey, good evening everyone. Welcome back to another late night here on the East Coast. How y'all doing? Hopefully pretty good. Yeah, you might be staring at a black screen right now. Um, you know, first off, alright, that's racist. Second off, um, I don't know. i uh, uh, just waiting on Steam to be kind. Uh, Steam keeps like crashing XCOM whenever I boot it up. And, um, I just had X, like, it was literally loaded. It started getting to the, the splash screen where it goes, blue, 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 the, um, the intro screen. So I was like, oh, cool, hit play. And then Steam started, like, updating something. Shit is crashing again. God damn it, Steam. You had one job. One job. I know, Fox, I know, black screw. Oh, hang on. Something's happening. Oh, Steam's just killing shit. All right, hang on. We got this. We got this together. With the power of make believe. We 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 might have to do something else. I don't know. I thought this was uh um. Gonna load. Yeah. Okay. Steam just crashed it again. Good. Excellent. Also, Steam won't let me open my friends list. I don't know if that's related or not. Um, Cause it's weird too. Like you don't change anything, you know. It's it's not like I've uh, I've done anything. I haven't touched any settings. I tried playing it the other day, right? We played some and it worked. <clears throat> Reset Steam. Uh, done that three times now. We'll give we'll give it one more second because I I just opened the game again. Um, I just kind of thought it worked because the, the game went in the full screen and started playing the, uh, the NVIDIA or whatever the fuck the opening is in this game. And I was like, oh, cool, sweet. So I hit, hit stream. My bad. I totally thought that was going to, like, I thought we were in, that we had this. But I, I guess, I guess not. Steam's just trying to prick me in the night. Which is okay, we can do something else instead if this is not working. I don't know why it's not working, but we could. We could do anything. The whole world is ours. You know? That's always exciting. Uh... I mean, Steam seems to think I'm playing XCOM 2 right now. So that's good. My computer seems to think I'm playing it. Give this 30 seconds. I mean, Discord. Oh my god. I like, see, I'm hearing. I'm hearing the game play. You guys hearing it? I swear to god. Oh, hang on. I just went full screen. Something's happening. It's alright. This game bugs out all the time when I play it anyway. Nice. Okay, I do not see the game right now. I see a black screen. But we're getting somewhere. But how many times do we, we play this game and enemies like fly off the map? Hey, we're in. Oh, who's this guy? We should all know who he is, probably, right? Surely we recognize this man. I think it's a Yanks. <laughs> I'm about like 80% sure that's Yanks. Yeah, he's got the sniper rifle, he's got the, uh, the, the, uh, infrared, the night vision goggles. I'm pretty sure. It's kind of a cool splash screen. I like this one. I mean, she's a bit of a pain in the ass. She killed, um, Dino. R.I.P. Rest in spaghetti, never forgetty. We will never forget Dino. <laughs> it was a tragic loss. Tragic. Wasn't the first to go. And he put up a fight, unlike uh, somebody else I know. He died. <coughs> Fox. You know. <laughs> just some rando, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't great. Some guy just literally like, popped up around a corner and boop boop. 
But to be fair, it was on one of those timed missions. You know? And those timed missions never work out for me. Also, neither do load screens by the looks of things. Uh, but that's fine. That's okay. We're not scared of any load screen. Might be. Might be a little scared, actually. Just your time to die. Yeah. Nice! We're in. Or are we? We're not in. Oh my god, this game's really angry today, and I haven't done anything. I turned my computer off. So that was a cool thing I did. You're welcome. Computer. What else? What do we got going in here? Some soldiers. We can get a soldier bond. Flynn Crawford and Elena. Reganova. I mean, we could do that. The neighbors believe in nothing and share little interest in preserving the true nature of our world beyond what their eyes can show them. Their actions have enraged the elders and but no. brought fear to their minions. In that respect, they are a valued ally, as long as they remain loyal to our cause. <laughs> oh yeah, this is all fucked up today. Oh, what? Video games, why do you have to be like this? Like, I just don't understand. What is it I've done to you? Commander, we've got local what? Forces waiting to make contact, but we'll have to make the first move. Why did that even pop up? Oh, well, we do want to find the black market. Oh, black market is pretty good. Just as you are driven to free your people from the perceived oppression of the elders. The burden of honor instilled upon me since my creation drives my service to the gods, regardless of their intention. Oh, we get mag weapons soon. Hell yeah! These magnetic-based weapons are a lot like the early railgun prototypes. They fire projectiles at extremely high velocity. Fuck yeah! Having finally got a closer look at the Gauss rifle technology Advent have deployed among their forces, I'm fairly confident we can develop a magnetic weapon system of comparable power. The obvious question, why not simply use Advent weapons directly, was discovered early on by resistance forces in the field. Some years ago, the aliens began integrating a sort of genetic verification technology into their weapons, which prevents them from functioning by any species whose DNA has not been pre-encoded. Unfortunately, the system also exerts lethal force on an unsuspecting, unauthorized user, a fact we should disseminate as widely as possible among resistant cells we have contact with. Nice. As for our own variation on the technology, Dr. Shen and I have taken components of the alien weaponry recovered from the field and utilized the key elements to develop a sustainable prototype. We can safely begin reproducing the system as the needed materials become available. So we now have the mag auto pistol, uh, the mag pistol, the shard gun, mm, upgrade shotgun, good. It is uh, the mag rifle. Uh, this is our most important upgrade probably. <laughs> I don't know about that, but it's pretty good. Bladed armor got inspired. We can research this twice as fast. That's amazing. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. That is an important task. Uh, command. yeah, better armor is hella, hella From good. My own experience, we had to use a lot of alien alloys to do that. Heavy but. security rather than subterfuge when it comes to protecting their primary facilities, at least the ones I had access to personally. If they have gone to the trouble of hiding this black site, I suspect our findings there will lead us to even greater questions. Hello, Commander. Okay, so. How many supply or how many alloys do we have? Forty. Um, so the mag rifle upgrade is huge. Why? Because the basic trooper has four health, and we've talked about this. This makes four our minimum damage, so we're guaranteed a one shot on the basic trooper. So, yeah, done. Uh, this also, I mean, upgrading our rangers so they have better shotty 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 boom boom. 
We like that, right? We like that a lot, I think. And the better pistol, I mean, that's always good. Uh, just gotta watch our money, because there's stuff we need to build. So we're not gonna get the better pistol right doctor. now. Must have been pretty cushy working with Advent, living in the colonies. So why the sudden change of heart? Like most people, I wanted to believe that the aliens were legitimately interested in peace. Although they left me little choice when it came to working with them. I admit, I was... You should have known better. The aliens would never have come here if they wanted peace. As I said, it was a mistake. One I hope to atone for through my efforts with XCOM. Then I'd say you're going to work it out for you. We already have a covert operation underway, Commander. It will take some time to complete. Oh my god, so much audio in this game. Or like, just the, the chattering. So Black Market has expressed a particular interest in our sectoid corps, Illyrium Core and Advent Stun Lancer. Well, they can have some sectoid corpses. We don't we don't need that. It's fine. Fifty bucks. That bought our shotguns, so that's cool. Um, so I believe you actually buy with Intel. Yeah, at the Black Market, which is kind of cool. Buy a shitload of Illyrium crystals. I do. We can buy some supplies. Cool. We can buy a scientist for faster research. Um, that's actually kind of interesting. If this was an engineer, I'd buy him for sure. I think we're okay, actually. Right now, it's tempting to buy these Illyrium crystals. Uh, for, for late game. When you don't have any. <laughs> and the hair trigger is a really interesting um, upgrade for a weapon. So it does take one of your weapon upgrade slots. But I believe it gives a 5% chance when you attack an enemy to one-shot them. Which is hilarious. But of course not that good. But it's, uh, I mean, it's interesting, right? Okay, nothing too cool. But, you know, we came, we saw... Um, I think we're going to grab these supplies and then upgrade the pistol and then make contact with the Arctic because that's where we have to start moving for our, uh, new our missions and, and getting more income and stuff like that. The yeah, Avatar project is progressing. So this is the aliens like Furthering their goals. The aliens continue to make yeah. progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Strategic resource located. And just remember, um, we also. Oh, I see the the bad things. Oh, the dark events. Okay, this is shitty. But we um we actually just had retaliation strike. Like a dark event that made uh, the retaliation strike, which is this game's terror mission, happen two weeks sooner. Uh, so normally we would have until the end of the month to prepare for a really nasty mission. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to be having it like bang, boom, bomb, like right now, basically. So like two weeks ahead of time, um, which is huge. Like two, you can do so much in two weeks. New orders, commander. You know? So I, I think now that we've done that, we do want to, um, let's get the mag pistol. And maybe a second med kit, or wait, did I already buy a med kit? Yeah. <laughs> Origami, <laughs> Mr. Kong. Oh, okay. I actually want to see if we bought a second med kit or not. Uh, no. Okay, we're going to buy one because we know we want one eventually. And we're also going to start building... Uh, we're going to need power soon. Like, There's a lot of things we need right now. I'm 
so many things we need right now, but we do really need the um... oh, proving ground. So good. I think the training center is the oh no the guerrilla tactics school that's exactly what i was thinking of that's the one we want okay and we are building that excellent okay in two days we're going to be able to increase our squad size so we'll need that new med kit let's go make contact Setting course for the arctic territory i think you have to spend intel to do this as well so it's a good thing we saved it commander Using intel collected so far, we've managed to locate... Okay, Commander, the Ice Hunters have a high-priority mission. It'll take us some time get an engineer and... Yes! I could use a favor if you've got the manpower to spare. We're all in this together. Holy shit, yes. Like, not even a question in my mind. Engineer, 90 intel? That's insane. Okay. Yeah, the question is, who do we take? Now, this <laughs> Operation Half-Eaten Vanguard, I like that. No, I know that origami, but I thought... Um, I, I didn't know if it showed items people have equipped there. You know what I mean? So, we got Rudy here. Origami and Yanks. They're the, the Wombo team. They've got a, a super high bond right now. Dragonova. Um... This is probably actually a pretty good crew. Who are you bonded with? Oh yeah, Dave the Onyx Guard. I guess we could potentially get him in. Oh. Hang on, what did he promote to? Oh nice, another Grenadier, okay. Uh, okay, he's another sniper though. Okay, I definitely don't want two snipers on this mission. Um, Dragonova's nice, because I'm not sure how Recover Resistant Operative works. Oh well, yeah, Borrowed is free. Is he? Did he finally heal up? Yeah. Okay, I'm kind of down with this. And who is Borrowed kind of bonded with? Um, nobody yet. Actually, he doesn't really like any... Pretty much nobody likes Borrowed. Except for Origami. And I don't want to pair him necessarily with like a sharpshooter or another ranger. I think we'll make this work. This looks pretty good. Just because I really want to get Rudy leveled up. Um, cause I, I like having an upgraded specialist for the hacking, cause that's gonna be important, not now, but when we start doing our, our first story mission. Um, so I guess, I think I'd probably give Rudy the med kit, or maybe we do double med kit. Honestly, we have a fair amount of grenades. Yeah, this, this is pretty safe. Safe's a little boring, right? But, you know. Two healers is better than one. And we don't want to lose any of these guys. We can always extract if we have to. I do love the XCOM random mission names, though. Very enjoyable. Being asked to assist in a rescue operation for a resistance VIP Again, I don't know how the res rescues work. The tunnels beneath the city center. I don't know if they're timed sure like all the others. Was up to, but the resistance needs us to get them out of there. Hostile activity in the area is very likely, so keep your heads up. Okay. Now, the thing is, until you get a ranger with phantom, which is like my favorite ability, um, the 
Resistance VIP yeah, is in the you're almost better off taking one of the one of their field specters, or whatever they're called. Also on to assist you in the rescue. Firebrand is standing by, but be careful. We'll have limited opportunities to set up a viable extraction point down there. Okay, so we don't have a lot of extraction options. What does Bard have, by the way? I forget. Can I see his abilities? Oh, he's only a squatty. Okay, so he's just a ranger right now. It feels bad to say, like, oh, he's just a ranger. But you know what I mean. Okay. Confirmed. Okay. Let's get everybody moving up. It doesn't look like we're timed, though. So that's kind of, you know, a good thing. So we're going to put Yanks in the full cover here. Affirmative. Moving out. So you never want to move up too quick. I mean, you want to move up quick, but you want to make sure you can kind of see ahead of you. Hostile forces spotted. There you go. All right. Well, at least we know what's coming up. Moving to designated coordinates. Um, and Origami will keep you close to Yanks because you guys are best buds. This game is very satisfying, though. Okay, this is going to be nice. Take out the sectoid early. Commander, remember, no matter how tough things get down here, we can't evac until we complete the mission. Really good shot with Yanks here. I like that. Um, that's probably what we do, I reckon. So Origami only has a shot on the Sectoid right now. So what I think we do, we are going to Overwatch with Origami. And take the shot here with Yanks. And there's a really good chance we end up taking down the Sectoid between the two of them. Oh my god, that crit. Nice. Juicy. We've been spotted. Alright, Origami, you got this. Take him out. Don't let him get behind cover. Nice. Chunky. I love the sound of that gun. Okay. So I did that knowing that Lancers love more than anything in the world to rush your butt. So let's borrow it, of course, just run up and, and shotgun him in the face. Heading to that location. This is upgraded shotgun. It's the new shard thrower in action. Oh, it's good! Kill confirmed. Oh, it's good. Hey, borrow's now corporal. Nice. So let's Heading move Rudy up. I'm on it. Okay. Oh no. Consider yourselves lucky. Uh oh. At the very least, you will die. Uh oh. We might not be winning this mission. <laughs> Heads up out there. It's the Elder's assassin, and she's moving into the AO. Uh we've got movement. Uh, so the problem with this is, again, she has that huge, like, just stupid AoE um, that allows her to... Ready to go. Okay. Adelante. All right, so she has that stupid AoE that allows her to, like, blind all of our guys. Good copy. Moving on target. Valyrian core, okay. Which is kind of a massive problem with how small this map is. 
Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to try and hang back. Spread our forces a little bit. Again, it's going to be very hard to, to do that. And we have a lot less people than we did in that other fight with her. So, um, well, we'll see what happens anyway. Uh, we can't overwatch her. It's probably better we hunker down. I think we'll run origami over... If I put him here and Yanks here, Not a problem. we we might be like perfectly spread. I don't know. I feel like this might even be too close. The AOE on it is stupid. She's coming. So we might just have to extract this mission. Like that that just might be what it is. I think I even need to move back a little more, but then I'm worried. I won't have the movement to reach somebody in one turn, pick them up with like a med kit or something. Um, oh, I guess that's fine. We'll uh, we'll hunker down with everyone. For the okay, I definitely did not want to use teamwork there. I. Fuck off. So I really hate this, um, but I'm sure some people like it. The hotkeys change based on the abilities you have, which I get, but it's very frustrating that like, oh, I want to overwatch with everyone, so I hit 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, and then you get the one guy who 3 isn't. And you're like, okay. Like right here, like now, now it's 5. Seven on Yanks because he has so many extra abilities. Like it just kind of sucks, in my opinion. Also, we know she's coming, so I think we want to just chill. Wait for. Yeah, here she is. Okay. She's gone for Rudy. You only delay the inevitable. I had hoped this is how we would meet on the field of battle. Your ideologies, your resistance, mean little to me. The Elders offer this world in exchange for you, Commander. And I see no reason to delay the inevitable. We've got the Chosen in our sights. It's time to take them out. This battle is not over yet. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to take them out. Not say we're not going to try, just... Shall I ferry your soldier back to my stronghold, where they can tell me of your operations more freely? It looks like the Chosen knocked one of our soldiers into a daze. We need to get someone over there to help them get back on their feet before that thing can move in and attack. Yeah, about that. Um, so she jumped in here, somewhere. <laughs> um... Okay, well, Yanks can pick up Rudy. Hmm. Ford can do a slash, which puts him a little open, so probably not crazy about that. I mean, we can blow up this wall a bit, which is kind of, I mean, I'm kind of liking that. And then maybe we can see her from there. And this might kill the guy, but it'll take out his cover anyway. Oh yeah, we, we probably will extract her. Well, there she is. Man, she's so fucking far away. On my 
my way. Let's get over here. We we still can't actually see her even though we see her. Get up, Rudy. We got this. You don't think we can take a herpy? Probably, like, probably not. But like, it's like crazy good mission rewards. You know what I mean? Like crazy good. Kind of cool. You still get another action though. Oh, you don't have to extract immediately. Okay. Oh, wait. No, we can't. On this map. What? Is it because we're underground? I mean, they did say, like, it would be hard to extract here. Well, fuck me. I guess all these boys is dead. can't overwatch her. Man, there's like no way to deal with this trick. You know? It's actually kind of bullshit. Oh yeah. We didn't bring our uh, our operative who specifically deals with her. Dig it in. Yeah. I feel like this mission goes to shitsville. Okay. She's really far away. Let it wash over you. Okay, that's some anime shit. What's making that noise? We have a soldier down. Get him back on their feet on the double. I don't know if they, if she just summoned more of, uh, like, more enemies there. Can't focus. Okay, not focusing is, is not good, Yanks. Turns out. Um. Heading out. No, I mean, like, the entire, uh sort of idea behind these hey, fights is it's BS there. origami. You know what I mean? It's not supposed to be fair. It's supposed to be a nasty again. challenge. The problem is when it comes in early like this, on like a mission where you can't pull out, and you're just like, oh, I'm gonna die right now. You don't want to be too close, neither. On my way. Well, let's Overwatch oh, yeah. just in case. Never know. They might have called in reinforcements that are going to come running through this door. The wind cannot be contained. Okay. 
She's running in. She's coming. I've got movement here. Somewhere up here. The elders grant me their vision, and with it, I am everywhere. But whence is she? Good copy. Moving on target. Nice. Wow. That was some good shit, actually. Got the goods. Still can't see her. She's uh, still in busy brew. Okay. What does disorient do? Movement and aim penalties. Okay, that's fine. It's not great, but like, you know, it's acceptable, right? I think it is just her, so. Covering. Rudy, get back here. Moving to designated position. Um. I don't want to get too far away. But you know, you still want to be like kind of, kind of far away, right? That's affirmative. I guess we'll try and like pull back and see if we can pull her back into this corridor a bit. Come get some. En guardia. Hostiles are moving. Because we don't know where all the other aliens are on this map. We don't want to bring them out. Okay, that's fine. Ah, good. Okay. Oh fuck, she's too fat. Oh wait, and she overwatched? That's some fucking horse shit. A wealth of information awaits me. I need only tear it from the depths of your soldiers in people's mind. If I trigger overwatch if I go here, I don't think I do. That said. I know if I grenade her overwatch ends. She's here. I feel like I could probably bounce it from here, which I don't know if will trigger Overwatch, but I'm moving through cover, so potentially not. Let's find out. Nice. That's my boy, Origami. Does suppression work on her if she's immune to... Uh, yeah, how does that work? How does suppression work against her? I think that's a real question. She's immune to Overwatch, but suppression technically is not Overwatch. It's a reaction fire. I think we do want to pick Yanks up. She might just go invisible. Oh. It's fair, I guess. Get in there. Big shot. It's not quite melee range, but it's pretty good. 50% crit chance. Could happen. Okay, 8 damage though. It's fucking huge. I'll take that any day. That will not be enough to stop me. Oh. Hello. Kind of thinking, actually, maybe just go in with Rudy and take the shot. I don't know what happens if I don't pick up Yanks here. She probably kills Yanks. 
But this is like my good shot on her, which I might not get a second of. You know? Heading to that location. Probably. I was gonna say, it said I had a shot here. Okay, Rudy, you gotta. Wait, does combat protocol end my turn? Yes. I think if I use it as my first action, it doesn't. It's only two damage either way. But, like, you know, two damage right now is potentially a big thing. Crit, Rudy, crit! Oh, or miss the 67. That's fine. Oh, I'm doing pretty good, alright. Don't be rude. Oh, Yankers! Just going in on them. You train them well. But it is inevitable that they break under my will. Oh no, she's mine fucking. Them. You have wounds me today. But at my oh. expense. For I have already learned more than I could have hoped. The chosen extracted what information they could from our soldier. And now they're a little closer to finding you, Commander. Okay, that's nowhere near as bad as I thought. I mean, I'm sure it's bad because you probably end game if she finds out where you are or something. Vamos, vamos, vamos. But I like I don't think I could have won that fight. Um, I'm on the move. I still have t one nade, right? Yeah, borrowed. Okay. Don't move. You'll be all right. That's rough. Well, now let's see if we can complete the mission. I kind of kind of forgot there was a mission, actually. For a second there. All right, everyone just overwatch. Because, you know, now we'll play proper. I don't think we're alone out here. No, I really also don't think we're alone. I was afraid she was, like, going to kidnap Yanks or something. Just take one of the fucking game. Roger that. looking good. Absolutely. Lightning hands is back up, which is kind of ideal. I think we just slow creep because we're not on a timer and we just, you know, dealt with some pretty nasty stuff. So it'd probably be ideal if we uh, didn't confirmed. get fucked up again. I know Bard would have been hella salty if we had died there. He'd have been like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I finally get healed, and then I get put on a mission where I'm immediately thrown up against the Chosen. That, that's cool. That's fine. I think if we had one more body, we would have been okay. Um, but... It's hard to say. She's she's quite nasty. She's a sassy little Sue. I'll tell you that much. We know they're in here somewhere. Confirmed. Oh really? I actually thought we were gonna see them with that. Um, do we It might be worthwhile to try and take the the upper area here next turn. I kinda like that. Got it covered. Yeah, so I think I think it's gonna be our play in the Go upstairs. On Overwatch. Confirmed. On Overwatch. I don't think we're alone out here. Movement ahead. Yeah, I know we hear them. Don't quite know where they are. Now there's always the option too. We can run up here with Rudy, Moving. find them, and then run the fuck back. Oh fuck! Grenade or a purifier, uh, purifier boy. That's. Uh, I mean that's a thing that happened. Well, Yanks has a shot with the, on the purifier, so I think what we're gonna do is lightning hands. We got the miss out of the way, which is important. Yeah. 
what you gotta do. You gotta know how math works. Fucking A, Yanks. Okay. So, Borrowed... Borrowed can just walk in here and shoot the captain. And then we just have the Stun Lancer to deal with. And we have two gentlemen who could potentially deal with them. Kinda like it. Alright, Origami, come in this room and just see what it looks like. What does this room look like to you? Not great, right? Again, Bard can take out that guy. Oh, I kinda like this. Still gives me a shot on the captain. Might be a little nicer going up for the slash, though. Just for that cover. This guy is going to be able to flank us. But... I think... Does Borrowed one shot with his shotgun? He... Six, seven. No, he's not guaranteed to. He likely will. That's another story entirely. Hmm. Well, uh, okay, let's pop here. Okay, I was praying there was nothing in this train. Very good odds here. Yeah, perfect. And then the stun, stun Lancer we can deal with. We're actually going to go ahead and suppress. And then we're going to combat protocol this guy. Because that's two guaranteed damage, which means if he moves and Origami hits the shot, he's dead. Eat boob. <laughs> I fucking love that little thing. It's great. Yeah, the Lancer can shoot me, but I, I have everyone in cover right now. And uh, no, he can't, by the way. He's dead. Turns out. But yeah, like he could have shot, but the thing, like everyone's in cover. So I, I wasn't worried about him shooting necessarily. Then they almost, I don't know, I find like they almost never shoot unless they can't reach you that turn. Cool. Okay. Now we can get the fuck upstairs and do some schmancy upstairsing. Ready to engage. It's always fun. Uh, and because we're clever boys, you shouldn't. Do oh my God, Origami's just in six dimensions right now. We're just gonna stack up on the staircase. Totally safe. All right, boys. Let's get a little peek over here, shall we? We see Rudy. Nothing. Rock and roll. I'm just a little worried about the whole can't leave here easily sure thing. thing. But otherwise, I feel like this mission went really well with the Chosen and everything. I don't know necessarily that the game... Um, makes a mission easier if they're going to deploy the Chosen. I don't think they do. Because uh, I've seen them on, like, terror missions that are still completely fucked. Um, I think it would be smart for them to do that. Like, you know, like, say, if there's four pods in a mission, take one out and drop the Chosen in. I think I think that's fair. But I, like I said, I, I don't know if they do at all. And I don't really mind because, like I said, you can usually extract... Um, what I would have normally done there is, I mean, during this fight, if the fight had gone south or started looking scary, I would have called the extract in halfway through the fight. Um, right around the time, like, Yanks got hit, there would have been the extract called. Uh, and then I just would have, like, bunkered everyone, tried to survive a few turns, and then leave. Uh, but I couldn't. It wasn't an option. But that's what I was planning to do. Because that's okay. It's okay to take a loss. Um, you know, as long as you, you get your good boys out, right? 
So, Yanks, get you somewhere up. I don't know. Where do you have a good shot? Pretty much nowhere, actually. Um, we might have to drop Yanks down. Which sucks. Like, death from above is super cool and everything. I actually think... Well, we don't know what we're dealing with yet, so... Let's get Rudy to take another peek over here. We'll probably come down to the backside, actually. I assume we're going to have to extract okay. over here. Hey, the 12th Doctors. The 12th... The 12th Doctors. That is an interesting name. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I'm a Doctor 7 and down kind of guy. I don't think the 8th Doctor was bad, but he didn't really have a good Hang shot out. at it. Moving out. But I remember the 5 Doctors, which was really interesting Body movie. Right. They tried to get the first 5 in. Of course, number 1 didn't actually show, and then uh, number four dipped out, so it was actually kind of like the three doctors. But, um, hey, be right back, guys. Sorry, just hear the cats going crazy. Hey, sorry, back. Yeah, so my, uh, to anyone that doesn't know, my cats are, like, insanely active. Um, like, they're basically dogs. Um, even so, I'd, I'd say they might be a little crazier than dogs, but it's just the breed. Um, so when I hear them going, like, insane in the middle of the night, I need to check, like, are they just, like, wrestling and, like, playing and running, like, laps around the house? Or are they like destroying something or, or have they gotten into trouble, you know? It's always the big worry. Okay, let's see what we get. Drop down Rudy, your bait. Oh, it looks good, okay. So let's run Yanks. I kind of feel like I want him here. I think this gives us a lot of coverage. I don't know where we have to extract from. I kind of like this spot. Pull everyone else down. As well. So, 12 doctors. Uh, I usually like to make people in this chat. Overwatch, got it covered. Characters in the game. I always find that a lot of fun. But your name's not like a, a super namey name. So, do you want the the sort of chopped off and just 12 doctors? Is that cool? Let me know. Like this. They did say there was someone else down here that was going to help. Okay, reinforce. Look at that. It's enemy evac. Yeah. That's about right, yeah. Uh, well, this is going to be interesting anyway. 
I guess we'll try and pop them as they come through the door. Affirmative, covering now. So origami, it's your job to. Well, we have rescued him now officially. Uh, I need full cover. I need hell of full cover. But I don't see it. Here? Just drop him here. I think they can shoot through that window. Run him behind? I don't know where our enemy's gonna spawn behind us. Like. Right now, let's throw him. Oh, we can get origami up here. That's kind of interesting. This might be a pretty greasy little spot. Uh, I'm not sure I want to split the party that much, though. Origami, you just chill here for now. Oh my god, way to give me a heart attack, thank you. Great. Uh, I think Rudy will run up here. Headed there now. That looks good. Then we'll just throw some overwatches in and see what happens. Oh fuck. Okay, I didn't see that one. So our, uh, I wonder if our little man is dead. Got some advent here. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't see the one behind at all. I wasn't even aware that was, uh, no, he's not dead. Nice. Through the door. I love it. Don't even know it's cut. Well, they were trying to open the door, I think, but... That fucked up. That's actually hilarious. He didn't open the door. He was trying. He wanted it. Oh dear. Would have been nice to have some grenades, yeah. Do we move out here? Well, what we know is... Where you are is super unsafe. Uh, if I can kill... Ugh. It's kind of like nowhere great actually for this guy. I guess the safest spot is this corner? Unless they jump down or get yeah, which they can do. Uh, like here? Well, let's see if we if we can deal with this sectoid that opens up a few places that are a little safer for us. So we can shoot him from here, but we're at the height disadvantage and the got like the full cover and all that. We can go give him a chop, which is not a guaranteed kill, but. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. Come on, Borod. Get up in there. Nice. That works. Now we can just finish him off with Rudy. Uh, we might be having bastards coming from behind you, Rudy. Let's show you. Start moving, moving Rudy in that direction. Position confirmed. Sixty percent. Okay. I'm, like, cause then it's like, do I want a combat protocol? No. Right. Like, I don't. You never want to combat protocol. Y you will if you have to, but sixty percent with the old pistol. 64 with the rifle, which I do need the reload. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna lightning hands here. Okay, that's fine. So we'll we'll use combat protocol then. Oh yeah. I want Yanks. Um do I pistol overwatch or do I just we'll take another pistol shot. We'll see. Okay. So that's cool. Uh, which means Rudy does get to overwatch. Which means Keon here that we're trying to rescue. Pretty safely run like, way back here. He's kind of being covered by like borrowed origami and stuff. I think we want to get origami up top. I think that's where we're going to be making making our stand for now. So Yanks needs to regroup. Um, but he's sniper boy, so sometimes hard for him to get places. Okay, at least these are just regular troops. They're uh, no problem to deal with. They're not even running in yet. Oh my god, Origami, how did you see that? Oh, okay, you saw the top of his head. That's probably why you missed. Okay. Got a zombie coming in? Presumably. I think the zombies are kind of slow, though, so... Like, that's a problem. Shit. Um, I still think I take this shot. Even though it's a 44, and, you know, that's not amazing. How are we looking? Origami? Pretty good. Rudy has nobody on sites right now. Um, if that's the case, I think... Um... Our sectoid friend. We roll the dice here. Nah, 44 is pretty bad. We can overwatch because we know they want to come at us. And like an overwatch. The thing is, over overwatch is only 80% of your base accuracy, right? So an overwatch is probably 60% instead of a 44. So probably good. It's probably fine. Uh, we're going to want Borrowed in here, protecting the hostage, of course. Moving. Moving to Overwatch. Okay, I think we're going to Suppression. Oh, that just kills your ammo, though. Versus what? A 53? Problem is, if I miss this, I'm gonna cry. So yeah, we'll suppress it. Yeah, we're gonna pull Rudy. I don't think any of them are gonna be coming up here. a pretty sweet little spot we have though gives us a lot of a lot of coverage uh, I got a good feeling what we should be doing here is just overwatching with Rudy. okay feel good about it hi there welcome to borrowed stop you betrayed the law
Oh my god, yanks. Uh, that wasn't the play I intended, but it's a play I'm okay with. That's how it's done. He's taking a shot. I don't know, he's trying to make panic. Okay. Orgami, you got this, man. Oh, fuck off. Well, at least he has to reload. Are we just dead? Rudy! Oh, okay. Kinda needed that, my friend. Whoa! Hi! What the fuck? What a play. Oh fuck. Looks like they called in back. Firebrand is in position for the extraction. Get out of there before things get any worse. Well think I mean things are bad right now. I'd say that much. We don't want to kill Origami, ideally. Uh probably do want to kill that Advent Trooper. Good. Um, so we need somehow we need borrowed to get the fucking kill on this uh, sectoid bitch. Wait, oh, yeah, I forgot about this asshole too. Uh, I don't think we can get a flank on the sectoid this turn. Well, you get out of here first off. VIP secure and in position for you. Firebrand has the VIP. Time to get the rest of the squad out of there before they get overrun by those damn things. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's happening right now, man. My control lasts two turns. That's survivable. Um, like we might be able to get Yanks in a position he can't get shot? No. No matter where he goes, he's getting shot. Okay. Moving out. Well, see what happens here. So zombies are pretty fucking slow. So Rudy, we can get. Is this son of a bitch anyway? Oh no no, that's of course. <laughs> that's origami. Origami has to reload though. So that's okay. Run around. He's the only threat. So if Bora shoots and kills the Psy zombie. We could... I 
think we need to kill the gun. But just I don't know if Yanks gets far enough away from the side zombie. I think I think he can probably move that far and punch. Well, this far though. It's kind of far. That might be two moves. Hmm. Oh. Oh yeah, also this works. Oh that oh, that makes things a little easier for me. Thank God for back doors. Okay. Cool. One borrowed. Nice. Oh. That looked awesome. Hostile neutralized. Okay, Rudy. Like I said, Origami is currently in the process of reevaluating his life choices. You wanna Roger hop on over here next to Borrowed. I've got eyes on an admin position. Good news is, I mean, these are just babies still. The double door kick. He was really excited. Okay. Okay, he's reloaded now. So next turn, our friend is gonna... Gonna fuck us the fuck up. <laughs> so, that's not good. And he does a lot of damage. But what we're going to do is we're going to run everyone so Origami has to chase us and then hopefully we extract. It's the wow! We picked up a lull in their forces. It looks like they're running out of reinforcements. Let's well, except for that one. Before that changes. Who's in a real bad spot for me right now. Isn't this cover? What? Hello. Yeah, this, this should be cover on both sides. I think the door's just blocking it. Uh, if I overwatch, is it going to kill Origami, is the question. Maybe. And I can definitely be shot at. I mean, we can run and ex extract them both. Uh, can Yanks get out of here this turn? No. But pretty damn close. You can get there next turn. Running. Okay. We might be okay here, actually. Rolling like to out. just. You're fine. Yeah, fine. Yeah, you're you're under uh, mind control. Yeah, origami. It's not great. Okay, hey, Boro, get the fuck out of here. Rudy. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, and then Origami should run towards Yanks, who he cannot shoot this turn, in an attempt to shoot him. And then we'll get him back. And then Yanks could potentially um, escape with him. Fingers crossed. This mission went to Shitsville. It was a setup. I knew it was too easy. We should have known. If they shoot the mind control guy out of frustration, yeah, I could have. I mean, they have two guys overwatching, so there's also a chance that. Oh no! Over... Oh nice! Oh, this is fucking happening right now. Don't get crit. Don't get crit! Run! And you do not fucking leave until you see your partner Yanks come around that goddamn corner, Origami. Absolutely. Oh, the bromance. Hug it out, boys. Hug it out. I'm God. Nice. 
<laughs> that happened. Yikes. Chosen have recovered more information about us, Commander. If they keep this up, they'll eventually be able to find the Avenger. We need to stop them before that happens. Yeah, well, listen. We, we made some choice. Oh, God. What is this? Why is this so buggy? Holy shit, this is intense. Rise up and join them. I don't think it's supposed to look so buggy. Like, you know, I'm alright with it. Oh, because we're in the extract zone, so it's fucking up. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm free, bitch! Yeah, we made it, boys. Easy. <sighs> that was a little sketchy, though. When that chosen came down, I was like, well, this is it. It's just too much smoke. It's, that's that dank kush, man. If you're gonna extract, you better be high as fuck when you do it. Ah, uh, the late night stream does not uh, actually endorse smoking weed. <laughs> Don't do it, kids. It's, it's bad. Some way we can protect our soldiers from whatever it is the chosen are doing to them in the field. Yeah, um, like chastity belts for their mind. Sure. Oh, I do love Phantom so much, but I mean, Borrowed kind of likes being melee man. Should we have Borrowed be melee man? I think we do. Like I said, the Phantom is like insane. It's, it's like my favorite ability. Firing your pistol with the first action no longer ends your turn. Interesting. Death from above uh, is insane. Of course, killing an enemy at a lower elevation with your sniper rifle costs only a single action. It does not end your turn. That's just super good. Super good. Got origami. Second, like an extra grenade or ho man, these are both really good. Another grenade is crazy, especially right now. Um, hollow targeting is like better late game though. When we're dealing with like larger targets and we need to like focus fire something. Um, I think the extra grenade use is overall going to be better for us. Uh, until the late game, but even late game, like having an extra grenade is great when you have a bunch of characters not taking grenades. And yes, we are going to go for Haywire Protocol. Gummy is our, or um, use our Hackerman. Nice. Laser Sight. Oh, that is so good. Like throw the Laser Sight on board with Shotgun. Uh, plus one mobility is pretty cool. Also, of course, probably going to be thrown down on Borrowed. Nice. An extra engineer in that 90 intel. Like, that's insane. That is just insane. How close is this to finish? 10 days? Uh, I feel like it's actually this one we want to get going. Yeah, I want to get to that power coil, I think. It's okay. We'll be able to chop that down to 10 days and then... Okay. What a mission, though. Uh, rookies, not now. We want to finish making contact. Setting course for Sector One, the Arctic. We have a uh, terror mission. Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Setting course for West Asia. Don't let you do anything in this game. Oh my god. Not like this. Okay, yes, we're taking Dragon Nova on a terror mission. Burpee, check. Who's your your buddy? Oh yeah, Yukiko. Uh Yukiko. Specialist? Yeah, alright. Let's go ahead and be a uh, fifth doctor. 
It's just kidding. <laughs> 12, 12th Doctor, that's right. I'm gonna skip the one part. Um, I actually... Hmm, 12th Doctor could be male or female. Who's the newest Doctor? Is that the 12th? I think that was the lady. I'm not sure if it's the 12th. Like, like which Doctor was the 12th? I'm so out of the loop now. I know 9 is Christopher Eccleston, and that's the last thing I saw. Um, tw Wow, fuck! So what is... Is she the 13th, then? Insane. There's been so many Doctors. But fair enough. I could, they rebooted in, like, 2008 or something. Uh, so he's a Scottish man. Yeah, the lady is the newest one. Yeah, but I didn't know if the 12th was the newest. Oh, my... The fuck? Is that legal? Having another weapon on top of your head? What is that hair? That's insane. And, and don't be like... Oh, this guy doesn't know what a top knot is. I know what a top knot is. What the fuck is that? You know what I mean? Like Jesus, that is fucking dangerous. I kind of, like I kind of like that uh, that idea though. Yeah. So we got twelfth doctor here. He's a little Scotsman, so we'll make him look like a Scotsman. Uh, he's got to be like Mondo white. Yeah, but they don't look quite. Yeah, they. I mean, fuck it. So Mondo white. What color of eyes? Scots. Hmm. And my family's got a lot of blue eyes and they Scottish, so. Fuck it. Of course, you have to have orange hair. And uh, whenever he speaks, I want him to have subtitles. Which would be excellent. He's a big old beard. No, it's this beard, actually, is the one he needs. This might not be what the 12th Doctor looks like, but this is what a Scotsman looks like. It's funny how, like, a Scotsman actually just looks like an Australian if you put this hat on him. Let's see, what, what kind of hat? I don't have, like, a Tam or anything. These are all just, like, joke hats. Uh, hang on, got some new stuff. A beret? Okay, yeah. Oh my god, that balaclava. Amazing. No, I'm feeling it's it's gotta be the beret. Okay. I like it. Uh face paint, yes. Absolutely face paint. This this hair is actually way it looks orange, but Well that's better. That's like a proper Scottish orange. Oh, yeah. No, no. No, 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 no. Yes. Perfect. Of course. Um, also, while we're at it, probably should give him long hair, but I don't think that matters with a hat. So. Don't think that matters at all. Oh, it does. Oh. Yes. Now, this is a Highlander. Of course, we need to change his body up. A true Scott, as you all know, would be wearing... Yes. Okay, good. Yes. And a skirt. Uh, I mean, this is the closest thing we have to a skirt. So that's what we gotta go with. And, of course, they would have the true colors of Scotland, which are a kind of washed out blue. I don't really want that one. It's like this and a white. Oh, it's beautiful. It's amazing. It's like I'm, I'm at a football game right now. Tattoo? Anything really Celtic? No. Well, I mean, that's some pretty fun. Oh my god. The Shadow Wolf? Absolutely horrible. But I, I kinda like it, right? I want I want like that washed out blue. He has on his face, you know. 
That's close. Go with that. What's he got on the other one here? The XCOM sleeve. I mean, I feel like he's that guy, isn't he? The death sleeve. He's just got two wolves. He's that hardcore. Well, okay, no, because this is very Doctor who -y. So there you go. Fuck, that's exactly what this person looks like. He's looking tight, yeah. I'm, lo I'm loving it. I'm loving this, this character. And yeah, we need to change his uh, voice. Not American English, please. Are they have real, Scott? Will do. No need to ask twice. Rolling out. Running. No need to ask twice. And four. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> Shea Gamora. Actually, I don't. I don't know Scottish. My family's like proper Celts, so we're like from Ireland. If you go far enough back, so I don't. Act, I actually don't. You know what I mean? If it's Yiddish or, uh, you know, um, Irish, I you know I understand it. Or Noof, I, I can understand Noof. But anyway, what a fucking mission. We're in for shit town right now, but we're gonna make it work. Well, you're Rudy's buddy. Maybe we take someone else to die. What do we have? Grenadier already. Excellent. Excellent. Uh. Could go with like a ranger maybe? Nah, we'll take we'll take Dave out, it's fine. Give Dave a medikit and probably also a medikit here. Yeah that's fine. I mean you guys are all dead, but you know. If I see the chosen we're extracting, like right at the start. His tattoo is his armor. I mean they believe that though, right? They believe. That their tattoos were like words. Green to deploy. The runic symbols protecting me from danger. I don't know if they actually believe that. It sounds likely, I guess. Because you gotta remember, a lot of the people from Scotland were actually people from Norway and shit like that. They're all really weird, like pagan religions and shit. So they probably did believe stuff like that. We're heading in to secure the camp and protect as Amazing. many civilians as we can. Eliminate all hostile forces attacking the site. Make them regret coming after the resistance. Operation Bloody Spear. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a bad one. Like this mission is gonna be bad. We're gonna lose somebody. We have team shirts and skins now. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's great. Uh, well, we'll see how Dave, Herpy, the Doctor, and who else do we bring? Oh, just, um, right, our, uh, our Reaper. I keep wanting to call them Spectres. One of those chosen is leading an assault I kind of hate the, the fact she's, like, a named character in the story, because I want to change people her. people are doing what they can to fight back, but we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. But that's what, well, you know, if we ever beat this, and we do Legendary, a group of I think we can get rid of her. down not far from your position. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. I don't think I've ever seen... No, I think I've seen guys with guns before. Oh, that might help a lot, actually. Okay. Outrider. Go I mean, so far, so really good. Okay. Yeah, I don't like how... How easy that was. Yeah, let's not move up too f Oh my god, amazing. Like, he's just the best. Okay, here we go. A patrol is upwind. Oh, fuck! Like, <laughs> wait, did they not see those guys? They just walked in. Oh, no, he did. Oh, a purifier. That's bad news. I found their patrol. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's all bad. It's like... Oh, we can blow that car up, though. Fuck, this went, like, zero to a hundred bad. Oh, okay, that was all right. Nice. 
there's a 700% chance I also kill you in this car detonation. Oh, this is actually really nice having these guys around. Yeah, you know, I can't complain about that. Oh, I don't. What? Really? That's cheese ball. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I, I'm just not dealing with that. Yeah. Fuck Snakeman. What did that break here? No! Wow, that is good. Okay. Um. The Twelfth Doctor. Whomst do we... Because obviously I want to deal with that, but I saw someone... The Purifier was way back there. I kind of want to deal with it. Part of me thinks I should have moved her up to get vision on the purifier, but also at the same time, like, that's insanity. So. 39. I just want to see the purifier so we can, like, merc him. Because I feel like he's going to be in trouble. Um. So, Herpy can... Does using teamwork use an action? I don't think so. So we can move 12th Doctor up here. Uh, give an action to move him up here so we can get a flanking shot. Sounds pretty cool. Yeah, Origami loves snakes, dude. Moving. All about that hardcore four. Right. Together we are strong! You still get your moves though, right, Harpy? I'm pretty sure. Okay, he used up his... Okay, he used up his first move. That's fine. That is A-OK -okay with me. Because we'll up. grenade if this doesn't work or something. Perfect! That's what we wanted. Hella worth. Because now we can do a little bit of... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Come on, Dave. Mm, Davey! important to shoot the, uh, the that oh or is this actually more dangerous not a guaranteed kill neither is this what's a sectoid gonna do summon the dead shoot this guy's gonna just fucking like kill literally kill all of these people in one shot oh fuck this thank god Nailed him. oh 12th doctor coming in clutch Herpy does not have his bullshit powers yet. Well, he actually can't shoot, neither. Oh, okay, he can't quite see the sectoid from here. Um, we can grenade. Won't kill. No point. We'll overwatch. That's overwatch. fine. Okay, I thought for sure you would have had a shot there, Herpy. My bad. Oh. It's true, it's not our soldiers, yeah. Still, I feel bad though, you know Commander, what I'm saying? Commander, Advent isn't backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. That's not a kill though. Take he just stunned them. Bastards down. Okay, well, we're going. Um, okay, let's move position. Dave up. The old pistol pot. Who's that? Oh, yeah, that's done. That's right. Wow. Still up. Dave, I don't know about you anymore. Uh, a little worried, actually. Okay. Well, the sectoid's just invulnerable to enemy fire. This isn't gonna kill it, though. Well, that happens, man. Okay, it is gonna kill it. 
she or Mary Sue just fucking pulled that out of her ass, which you know it's good. Good. Moving to designated coordinates. A hey, herpy. Uh, there's a chance. <laughs> it's actually impossible for you to kill this guy. Uh, but he will move, so I guess Overwatch. Come on. Oh, he's going in. Uh. We're gonna call that a um a casualty of war. I like how these guys just aren't interacting with being shot. There's a large group of civilians pinned down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces are Hey, Pokemon Master. <laughs> I thought that was 9-11 at first. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh shit. You know what I mean? Uh, interesting. But yeah, what's up? I'm on the move. It, it kind of looked like you just shot right through the civilian herpy. Uh, which is why I love old XCOM, because yes, you absolutely always do that. Fucking A. There you go. Target Running down. around stunning civvies? Sure. The resistance team is in the clear. They're moving to help the other survivors. Nice. Excellent. I mean, uh, that honestly, I think, went pretty good. I think we're gonna re-shadow here. I am the hunter. I am the hunter. As you order, Commander. Run! Uh, and probably reload, because you're kind of ahead of the group and stuff. I need to reload. Get way the shit up here. Got it, over. <laughs> so... What does uh, 9111 mean? Does that have, like, a special meaning? I'm always curious when people have numbers behind their names, because it's usually birthdays or something. Listen, I... Uh, Gary Coleman! Oh my god, imagine if that was Gary Coleman. We'd be playing fucking... Uh... Oh my god, it's just a massacre. Oh, no! <laughs> playing a completely different game if Gary Coleman was in it. I'm not going to be able to get that! Why would you spawn that there, game? That's horse shit. You know, I can't blame you. Um... Yeah, we are, like, kind of still nowhere near them, hey? Brutal. Let's go stalk the knight. Life is in your hands. I actually don't know if we can save enough civilians here. Like, we are going to try, but the thing is... There is... There's a lot of civilians just kind of... Hey, Origami and Yanks! The Dream Team poster again. I love it. I forget what their tagline was. R Ride my lightning, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's good shit. Um, here? I don't know where they're coming from exactly. We'll do. Um, maybe. Yeah, we're gonna take the twelfth doctor up. I think. Already there. Man, we gotta reload and shit. Like everything's bad right now. Uh, I guess he's truly a Highlander now. No. no? Hey, game. Do you want to spawn? any of this shit by me or just all of them on top of the enemy no that's fine yeah i'm pretty oh my god i was gonna say i'm pretty sure it's impossible for us to win this but we tried and we could have moved faster in the uh well not much faster but we could have moved a little faster in the beginning like with a mission like this i don't feel as cheated as i do with the timed missions so i'm not overly salty about it. The time missions I do get pretty salty though, I'm not gonna lie. That's fucking that's some salt ass shit. Okay, so we know there's a bunch over here. Folks 
says I am to obey. That patrol is coming. Oh, fair enough, dude. We've, I mean, we've all done that, right? Just added a bunch of numbers until it worked. So, I think... Does this actually catch both groups? Because that might be the play there. Um, because, again, a grenade does set that off, which is kind of cool. If I just grenade it with Herpy. Um. Oh, really? You can see all the way down there. That's kind of nice. Got it covered. All right, let's get that done. Oh, I forgot you were the obsessive reloader. Okay, so I think we're gonna do this. The trap is set. Cause it, for sure we're getting one kill this turn, and I don't think there's any other way for us to get a kill this turn. I think it was here. That's down. Can't see it for some reason. Oh, is this guy getting caught in the blast? I don't think so. Yeah. No, you didn't. Oh. Hello. I thought they were a little closer, but that's fine. Huh. Technically, I'm flanked by that guy if I go here, huh? I'm also flanking him. That's kind of interesting. Oh, he hadn't triggered yet. He was just killing civilians, but he didn't actually know that we were serious. Right now. I would very much like to kill the Purifier. I feel like he is the bigger threat. Not a guaranteed kill. A pretty good shot, though. Alright, come on, Scotland. Oh, fuck. Run's going alright. Had some bad luck, had some good luck. Clumsy patrol is uh, you know, as you can see, I've definitely having a bit, bit of both. <laughs> like, some of these missions are actually impossible, though. That's, that's probably my only, like, big complaint. God, they're all dead. Oh, it doesn't kill them. Like, it doesn't do damage. It just sets them on fire? That's not anywhere near as bad as I thought it was. I mean, okay, yeah, taking damage sucks. But, like, I thought that was way worse. 99. It's hard to argue with the 99. Um... Yeah, come on, Dave. I saw you had a tactical flashlight there for some reason. It's down. Right. Like you know what? You know I want to do that. Okay, so Herpy. Either we put out this fire, or we do something like potentially useful. With um, how much damage does this do? If it blows up, six. Uh, not, mm, I think I'd rather guarantee the kill. Can get Outrider up here. She can get a shot into the Purifier guy. Yeah. Nasty. I don't think that truck will kill the civilians. Really? 
Yeah, no, some of the time missions are impossible. Like, I have sprinted from the start, and I will not make it in time, even if I have someone sprinting at it every single turn. It is literally impossible. Um, okay, so... There's literally a civvy on top of it. Like, he's dead. I do this. Just, like, two. I think. Two civilians die. Maybe. Oh, no, wait. Explosion's not behind it? Or what? That's weird. So this civilian... Kills that guy, though. You know? Question is, which is better? Kill one civilian and kill one of them? Like, for sure? Because we know that guy's gonna kill a civilian next turn? Probably, actually, acceptable losses of war? Right? Like, that, that seems like a play... And like this seems really good here. Um, so what we'll do is we'll do a reload and blow this up. It's not gonna kill him. Like, purifiers kind of scare me though. But like I'm not I'm not guaranteed to get a kill here. Like the odds I hit and then roll a six damage. Which one of them is a faceless? <laughs> I don't think that happens on this mission. Uh, that'd be shitty if it did. Hmm. Again. Kind of feel like this is the right play here. Just hope that we roll high enough and kill this guy. Okay. Hostile neutralized. Because with that down, if I blow this up, we have one purifier left. Herpy can probably kill him. Nah, hit the damage just isn't there. Uh, but he also probably won't die to him next turn. Probably. Okay. Our world is dangerous. Well, war is dangerous. It's fine. All right. So, um, here. Position confirmed. Yeah, this looks good. Just don't worry about that fire, Herbie. Uh, it just makes you more badass. Uh, what? Oh, f oh, fuck. There can be faceless on these missions? What? Wait, what? Well, that was one hell of a fucking move. What? Uh, okay, a lot of things have happened this turn that I don't know if I can process. I don't know how Herpy fucking dodged that either. Hey, bitch. Oh, wait. We need to save this, because that's not a kill. Twelfth Doctor. Let's try and get him. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, I knew the Faceless could appear in... Uh, um... Uh, uh, rich, um... Rich, sorry. Let's just forget about that till the word comes back to me. Terror missions. Um... I knew that. Sorry. That that I, I, I knew. Yeah. I did not know they could appear on this one particular one uh, which is actually fucked up because we are going to fail this mission potentially well like probably let's 
So Herpy, you kind of have to do the thing right now. You know that, right? We are compromised. <laughs> Where's the Sun Lancer when I have the black guy instead of the Scottish guy? <laughs> uh, so Herpy, look at these odds. 90... I know, I'm just kidding, man. I ain't even rolling. I couldn't even risk a 96. Not for you. You're my boy, Herpy. You're my boy. Don't hit yourself with this. Jesus Christ, that was spazzing out. Good work out there. 43 combined kills. Like if you count the enemies shooting us? Or what do you mean? Send the Xenos back to space. <laughs> oh, I kind of love that. Hang on. First off, I don't. I want her in the back because, like, she's the worst. Actually, you know what? We're just gonna. Well, she was in this mission. We can't. We can't just get rid of her. I do want her in the back, though. Or oh my god. Okay, so let's go back. Let's do a randomize. Pretty fun, actually. Okay, the old ass shot. I'm like I'm kind of okay with this. It's pretty fun. Yeah, we'll go with it. Forty-three combined skill kills, including the civilians. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's what it felt like. Ooh. Can you be a shooting boy? Yeah, absolutely, Pokemon. I always get people from the chat. I, I always say, if you're a lurker, listen, I I watch a lot of, well, I don't watch a lot of streams, but I watch, you know, streams when I'm going to bed and stuff like that. And whenever I watch, I'm like, I always lurk. I never say anything. I'm just that guy, right? I just watch, you know, silently, or I'll watch VODs or something like that. But I always say, if you're watching my stream and we're playing something like an XCOM or something where I can put people in, and you're lurking, you're having a good time. As just say, just say hi, and go back to lurking. Because uh, I'm just going to see your name, and then I'm going to go ahead and throw you in. Trigger. No. Uh, but otherwise, I just don't know you're there, which is unfortunate. I don't think demolition is something you ever take. I think it's trash. Um, but that's just me personally, right? I'm that, I'm that asshole. You take more than one photo? Not. I don't think you can permission, but maybe. I don't know. Kills with a vector rifle do not increase the Reaper's chance to break out of shadow. Well, I always roll a f like uh, to break every time, but that's kind of cool. A Reaper that only deals killing blows can remain in shadow indefinitely. Oh. Ah. Oh, that's what it says. Oh, it's only kills. Fuck. I don't often kill with this. A kill with the claymore puts her in the shadow. That's pretty cool. Shots taken in shadow plus two armor piercing. Additional utility slot. Provided the soldier's armor does not already provide one. It's kind of kind of weird. Um, I definitely like distraction. Oh, yeah, I love target definition, actually. Any unit seen by a Reaper remains permanently visible. That's a super fun one. The armor piercing's interesting. It's interesting. Need Silent Killer? Really? No, that's not what it said. Um, hang on, we'll, we'll read it in a minute, but that that's not what the thing says at all. Um, maybe we make Dave our, our actual sniper sniper and we take Deadeye? I like Lightning Hands a lot, though. I feel like it's very utility. Uh, and we'll take, um... we have the Scottish guy be the healer? I mean, maybe. You like combat protocol quite a bit, but sure. We'll make him be our healer boy. Hello, Commander. That was a bit rough, though. Okay, let's go ahead and check out uh, Elena. 
Soldier abilities. Okay. Silent Killer. Kills of the Vector Rifle do not increase the Reaper's chance to break out of shadow, but the chance to reveal still occurs. At least we don't have to worry about keeping the Council happy anymore. No, it doesn't say she will not get revealed. It says the chance will not increase. So normally if you get a kill with your Vector... Or sorry, normally if you shoot your Vector Rifle... It goes 50-50, right? 50% 50 chance you're safe and 50% chance you're revealed. With me, I almost always get revealed, but you know what I mean? That's um, confirmation bias kind of thing. Um, you, you always see the worst result most vividly. So, what? The, and then your second shot will be an 80% chance to reveal. But you still got that 20, you might stay in there. All this does is if you get a kill, you still you will always have a 50% chance to not be revealed. I mean, I I don't know the game as well as some of you, probably. But that's that's how I'm reading it. See, it does not prevent the chance to break out of Shadow from occurring. It just... How? How does this read? You will 100% not be revealed. That doesn't make any sense. Like, I'm... Well, we'll try it out, but that's not what it reads. I mean, we're not going to buy it with Soldier AP. We'll get, or um, XCOM AP. We'll get some Soldier AP. It just doesn't, doesn't make sense to me. Oh. Uh, anyway, let's make Pokemon here. Which are you more interested in? Grenadier, Ranger, or Specialist? We have uh, those three. Perk is jank, and instead of staying at 50%, it goes at zero permanently? What the fuck? Really? Okay, hang on. Okay. Maybe what happens, but you never see until you get the perk, is the, the increase happens before the shot. If that makes sense. So what what it is is a Reaper begins with a base of 0%. And the first shot puts it up to 50. But the thing is, if you only ever shoot without the perk, you'll always see that 50%. That's really weird. Uh, I feel like that's poorly coded, actually. Um, there, there should be some sort of like... Um, well, either rewrite this tooltip or... Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. You know, have um, have it be obvious that your your stuff goes up. Either way, okay, let's try and make a Pokemon Master. Uh, Fabrizio Greco is such a great name, though. It's pretty offensive. We're still gonna keep you as an Italian. Let's see if we can get an Italian voice. Hell yeah. Okay, mi muovo. Vado. Okay. Molto bene. Eseguo. Affirmativo. Okay, mi muovo. Nice. Um, so we'll go Pokemon. Master 9111. Let's see. What do you look like today? What does a Pokemon Master look like? Well, they're all children. Uh, except for, like, the weird old... What's like that most child? Oh, that's a pretty childlike face, actually. Skin color doesn't matter, but Pokemon's from Japan, so be a little more, more of like an ashen look. Uh, yeah, none of those are very chilly. Now let's see if we can get like a more child, childlike face here. Oh, okay, before the wrinkles set in. Oh! This right here. Little little pudgy boy. There's no facial hair. Face paint, you can't have like something really silly, right? Something really small. No. It's kind of a hat. Um there's a Let's see, they wear a red beret. They wear a bunch of dumb, like, little hats, right? Oh, the backwards ball cap. 
Yep. That'll do it. You know what you want to look like? What's that? I mean, this is already like a fucking look. You just look like Joey. Right? Like, doesn't it look like we're making Joey? What kind of clothes did fucking schoolboy Joey wear? Fuck his name. Like this. Just got out of class. Got his fucking Rattata. Being a little shit. I kind of like it. It's fun. Let's make your stuff pink. Give you long hair. A banana and sunglasses. I mean, I can do that. That's fine. Get the old upper face prop. Sunglasses. Banana, though. What the fuck? Oh, a bandana. Oh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. What a look. I think I can dig it. Did I save uh, 12th Doctor? I forget. I think I did, but just in case. I can always delete the duplicate. Nice. Uh, we do actually need... No. We need recruits, but first we need to... Spend our 10,000 days making contact. No, that's what I was saying. Yeah, like the... Incoming oh my god. Patching it through to your quarters now. Okay. Leading the resistance is a daunting task, Commander. But your efforts... Children so gain knowledge of XCOM's activities. They'll have increasing number of opportunities to hamper our operations. You have to do better. Our friends in the resistance... Which increases risk on covert so actions. So that's kind of annoying. The elders have sent after us. She's trying to increase her strength like in combat. That's super annoying. ...to actively hunt us until we take them out. Um... You're beginning to flip. <laughs> Lost World's Your fun. I don't mind that. Undying loyalty seems like a pain in the ass. The risks are ever increasing. Okay, covert actions will not be ambushed. Perfect. Um, I definitely would like to get stay with me. But... Yeah, I guess we'll get our money for... I know, game! I've been trying to do this for 10,000 years. Everyone just wants to... Yakety yak. Send me on 10,000 fucking bullshit missions. For wear after that last covert action, but if we give them time to rest, they'll be fine. Nice. Got some cohesion here. A promotion. Got another scientist. Fuck yeah. We have a chance to deal the elders. Another scientist? Oh, what else do we got though? Commander. Gather supplies and recover loot. Alien loot. That seems pretty good. Plus nine dodge. Damn. Oh yeah, that's that mission though. I mean, another scientist, right? Like, spam through the research? That's kind of cool. And we'll get another promotion here. And spend, wow, fuck, ten Illyrium crystals. That's fine. We can take another wound. Uh, actually, turns out we can. A lot of wounded people right now. I can't even really afford to send this mission out, actually. Okay, well then we won't. Uh, you hop off. Give a hand clearing the shit. I mean, we can always buy new recruits. Oh my god. Let me do something, please. Don't the pause me every five seconds. The new facility tied to the Avatar project, Commander. If we can okay. make contact with resistance forces in the region, we could move on that facility Seems bad. and set back the aliens' work. Commander, we've just received intel that one of Dr. Volan's escape test subjects is guarding a nearby advent facility. Best be prepared before we try to take it out. Oh my god, okay, that was actually a good thing. I was getting a little fucking annoyed. <laughs> um, okay, new combat tactics, squad size, please. Thank you. All we need. Apparently we don't have any soldiers we can put in here. Do we not have any rookies? That's not bad. Uh, we can definitely afford to buy one. Or two. Let's buy two rookies and then 
I like the sound of Melissa Black and Frida Newman. That's a pretty great name. So what do we need? Yeah, we'll train her as a my loadout look like? Uh, three grenadiers, three rangers, three sharpshooters, three specialists? What the fuck? Really? Uh, I kind of like having rangers and grenadiers on missions, though. Like, I like to guarantee that. So, Melissa, you can go ahead and be a... Probably a grenadier. Important to me right now? It's, it's a ranger. Ranger's happening. And then we'll go ahead and fire off a mission. And we'll, I think recruiting another scientist just sounds really good. Yeah, and we'll take the wounded. We'll send the rookie and get a promotion on This is going to be our squad for next fight, right? Back up. Dave's back up in two days. Um, okay, just going by rank. So we'll send Camille then. Get our other sharpshooter out. Training up. Sounds good. Yeah. We will begin the covert action immediately, Commander. Seems good to me. Better head to bed. Good night and good luck. Oh, yeah. Uh, you. Okay, so here's the thing, Fox. You can build an infirmary, and then that will heal people faster if you staff it. Uh, unfortunately, I, I, it's not sure I want to go for that just yet. Uh, I mean, I need one. We also really need... Um, the training center would be great to work on our bonds and the resistance comms would be, or not the resistance comms, the proving ground would just be massive because we want to, we want to start getting ammo and grenades and stuff like that. Uh, I think out of everything, it's probably the proving ground I want. It's a little risky not getting the infirmary up first because this takes so long to build. But... Yeah, I think it's in ground. Moving, Commander, we've pushed our current power systems to the limit. I know. We don't have any capacity. Yeah, I know, to but spare, we, we gotta. We can't expand our facilities further. I know. We're digging. We're going. Get down there. Just give it time. Time. And we probably want this done faster. We're doing. I think we want to get the proving ground up in half the time. It's yeah, pretty good. Can you have a level up? Yeah. Okay, let's finish getting our supply, and then we'll. Uh, the chosen are getting closer to hunting us down every day. Probably the just only way we do some bookkeeping. To strike first, and we'll need to work on a covert action with the resistance in order to do that. We should head to the ring. Oh, it's actually been a new new year, or new month, so we should also check out the black market, because we have tons of intel. I failed to buy another engineer or something. The moment grows, and with each passing day, I come closer to ending your ceaseless flight from battle. Yeah, hang on. Now, uh, let's, let's finish making contact. Oh fuck, it's a grill ops. Last second, of course. Uh, what do we got? Get a Corporal Ranger. Counters a hidden dark event. Seems good. Protect the device. Okay. Like, that's definitely something we want to do. Um, but we'll do that tomorrow, because it's getting pretty late. It's like 3.35 and stuff like that. What we will do, though, is... Sorry, Aragami, you're not ready. Meal is, though. She's on a covert action. Can't check out what funky fresh shit. Oh, we get our proving around soon too. 
Things are looking up, though. I think we're actually doing pretty good. Um, taking out that Chosen is going to be a huge pain, but we'll do our best there. Do our best. Either way, y'all have a nice night, and I will see you tomorrow? Should be tomorrow. Yeah. Peace.